Hello, welcome to MCFC 9320 Pubcast. Unfortunately, we've not got Riz with us tonight. Good morning. Good morning. Great, I lost the preach, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was too excited about the game, so I decided. The owners of the apartment have left an easel and some paint. Not an eagle. Not an eagle. He's on his way. Well, thankfully, we've got John. Yes, we've got John the Superstar with us tonight. We've also got Mrs. Maris. Yay! Oh, I love him. Absolutely love him. I love you too. <laughs> and, and a regular now with us is Mr. Stanny Vegas. God, that's enough. What have you ever seen? Statement. This place is going right down there. You can't talk to me like that, Mike. Oh. I don't care if you went ass over to Tim Scott. Don't be a dickhead. No swearing on this show, John. Stan. No, no, no. I wasn't telling lies there. <laughs> Uh, that, that's why we're a little bit late. I was having a little bit of uh, technical difficulties. So, how is everyone? Uh, good. Uh, yeah. I did. I've done of... with uh, a draw today with them too, but never mind. Yeah, you know, I'm not really fussed to be honest. Uh, Arsenal won't be there at the end of the season. Liverpool won't. You, let, let's just chat about the, the rats just for before we get on to yesterday's game and stuff. They finished, aren't they, Liverpool? Yeah. Huge Definitely. mistake selling Mane. Yeah. Stan. Oh, the best player. Stan. Yes, mate. You're a bit of a stat, old pal. Uh, yeah. As, as Anne-Marie just said there, huge mistake selling Mane, wasn't it? You know, and keeping Salah, because Salah just looks comfortable on his new contract. Yeah, he's not he's not putting in the figures or anything near it. They all, they all caboodle, to be honest with you. They're not... Um, they're not over they're not overperforming or underperforming. They're just box standard at the moment, and that's that's the problem. Um, I'm not even sure why they got in that Arthur fella. Um, that was a panic buy. That's something that they haven't done in the past. But then again, I suppose the license, the expiry date on their uh, software has come up, so they can't get in anymore, and they're not they're not sure who to buy. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know, it's only got a certain shelf life, hasn't it? Three, four years, and then players have changed and 22 year olds, you know, suddenly should be coming to the peak of their careers and all this. I just don't think they've kept up. And losing Michael Edwards was a big blow for them, without a doubt. But John, maybe, Pat Linders. Don't forget Pat Linders went as well. Maybe they just can't get any more inhalers. Yeah, it looks like way. Um, I think basically they must have stepped up drug testing or something because they're too frightened to attack him now. Is I he... think it's quite funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, really... it's a shame to see Terence Trent Darby having a hard time with it as well. Terence Trent Darby. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call him? <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's absolutely quality. Uh, I was just going to say, funnily enough, you're not wishing him well, though, are you? John, wait, Stan, wait, where you've spoken to. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> and Marie, it's funny because I was just going to ask you about Terence Trent Derby. Uh, Merson, uh, Merson um, b- before the match today, was saying he's the best player, in uh, best passer in England. Yeah, but we know what Merson's like. What's he like? Yeah. Come on, be libelous. Smoke, a, a smoker and a... Yeah. As a cold, and he oh, also he also thought they were playing Leicester. <laughs> well, well, and he, and he also, also thought it was a joke that we bought De Bruyne. Was yeah, that, was that in Lira? Yeah, that's him. I thought it was in Lira, Jeff. No, it's in pounds, mate, and it's just one was about four, five, <laughs> however many he's won. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not too fu- I'm not too fussed that that Liverpool got beat today. I just don't want it to bite us on the backside next week, but I can't see it yet. Terence Trent Darby, <laughs> that, that stuck with me, that one, no. <laughs> Terence Trent Darby looks like he's out. Uh, Salah didn't didn't look happy when he come off. 
Uh, who else? Oh, uh, Danny, Danny Alves. Was he in Greece? Him? Uh, Danny Zuko, that, weren't it? Yeah, so he came off with looks injured. Um, the big girl up front, that, that Nunezia. <laughs> no, I don't, you know, yeah, he, he scored a goal, a goal today, but that takes him, what is it, uh, 13 behind our big Norwegian meat shield? Uh, in all competitions, no, just probably impressive. about sixteen behind. He's got twenty, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, in all on. competitions, yeah. Stan, yeah. That, that's that's not Merson's coke, is it? No, it's not. And I do not endorse product placements either. No, I don't, mate. <laughs> that's 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 another thing. Right, let's get on to yesterday's match. Uh, oh, hang on. They've, got, they've got to go up to Rangers this week as well, haven't they? And that, that'll drain them. They're not going to want to lose that. I mean, I know Rangers might not be the best team in the world, but it's going to be a going to be a tough old um, night out for them with all the uh, gold save the Queen going on and what have you. We, we've got to go, go, we've got to, go to Denmark, mate. Yeah, no, but it's not going to uh, Rangers, is it? No, we'll be fine in Copenhagen. And not being funny, we could we could in theory we could put out a second string team and still come away with the result in Copenhagen, I think. All right. Speaking of Copenhagen, John, I don't suppose there's gonna be any of this activity going on, is there? Um maybe you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that fast show with that painter, Johnny Johnny the painter? Not Johnny the Vegas. No, everything goes black. And then it all went black, black. Is that him there doing the painting? Right. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They've they've got they've got to go to Rangers. Saying that, by the time that if they drive in there, we'll probably be in Copenhagen quicker. You know, fl flying. So yeah, we could put a, a second string team out, which Pep won't do. He, he will. He will want to kill that game straight away, won't we, Amory? I think so. So we need. We only need a point from it anyway to guarantee qualification. So, but I don't think, I think the likes of, I don't think we'll see the likes of Kevin. I don't think we'll see Foden. Um, you know, possibly not Bernardo as well, because I think he'll have, he'll have Sunday in mind, which to be fair, doesn't bother me because for once, I believe we've got a great opportunity of doing one over the Scousers, and I'd rather we did that. I, I yeah. think I think Copenhagen have got more chance of catching us in the Premier League than Liverpool. <laughs> Quite possibly. You say that, but the well, you know, the, the, they're capable. They've done it before. You know, the not this season. They're not good. not this season. No. They're not the same team whatsoever. No, and I don't think they're the same team, but they still have that capability of going on a 10, 12 all... game unbeaten run. They was a one man a team. <laughs> it all depends what the FA want. And we know what they want. Yeah. But but seriously, it's I, I they're not even in the equation for me. It's 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 definitely going to be Arsenal. I'm, I'm glad it's Arsenal, really, because of the link and stuff like that. Gab was brilliant again for him today. Uh but by the by, you know, it's like Cop Copenhagen. That, that's that's in a couple of days' time, Tuesday. But let's talk. Let's talk about Saturday. Yesterday, I thought Aki and Cancelo were absolutely absolutely class, especially Aki, which I'm really glad about for Aki because you know I thought he had a great season last season, and yesterday probably, in my humble opinion, Stan is probably his best game for City. Yeah, that back that back row was really really good. I mean, there was um. He's one or two weren't sure about it, but I can't really make. I can't think off the top of my head that they made any really daft mistakes. There was nothing, you know, over the last few weeks. You think we've got away with that a little bit. There was none of that. They closed them down, and they've got a decent attack. I mean, to be fair, Southampton aren't a bad team at all. No, you know, them. I thought their two centre backs were very good for the first ten minutes. They they came at us. They didn't look in. In, in awe of us or anything like that. But then I'd, I'd say once we got the first, I know we, we I know we had a chance, you know, in the first minute or something like that, but I thought Southampton just 
you know, yeah. carried on coming at us, but it's their, <clears throat> their keeper, our ex keeper, you know, he kept him in the game as well. I thought he about five decent saves from him. Mm. Well, we, we could beat them last year, so they, so they, for good reason, shouldn't really have had anything to fear from us. You know, it's, it's not like you say, oh, can you do it now? Well, yeah, they can, they did it. Uh, yeah, the, the fear they had though was Harland because all they did was surround him every time we got the ball. And no, then there, there wasn't that. for 60 minutes, they tried the best to stop him scoring and they managed it for which 60 minutes. But yeah, that, that left other, other, other players to score though and that's why we was already three up. Yeah. Yeah. I must admit, I was beginning to think if it would be his day when he hit the inside, you know, the inside of the post and it come out. Yeah. You've seen them go in. Um, you thought, Millimetres. Oh, and yeah, that's what it is, isn't it, at the end of the day? Well, like, yeah, I thought Pepe Zuni was good for them. Yeah, and Marie, just, just, like, just like John said then, I thought the space what Haaland created with two and three players on him all, all the time, it just let, let us run run riot, really, in particular down yes. the left. Down the left, and you could see that with both Cancelo and Foden's goals. And going back to what you said about Aki, I thought Aki had a great game yesterday, but and I also think he had a brilliant game in the derby. He started a lot of our attacks, both him and Akanji, making the runs from deep. And it goes, I think a lot of what they do goes unnoticed. Now, I wasn't sure, and I'm still not 100% convinced of Akanji at right back, but he did a job yesterday and what we did exactly what we needed him to do. And I think, you know, the signs are good. And I, I feel a bit sorry for Gomez because, you know, he did nothing wrong against Copenhagen. So I'm just, you know, why did he not get a start yesterday? The same with Grealish. I'd have picked Grealish ahead of Mares yesterday without even thinking about it. The reason, reason. Just because, not not because of my dislike for Mares, but just because of the thought. <laughs> you know you love me. Just because of the form Jack's been in, I would I didn't think Jack deserved to be dropped to the He wasn't bench. dropped. He wasn't dropped. Uh, I don't know. Think. No, he, he wasn't. I think he, he wasn't dropped. Listen, this is this theory. Stand before before you before you go ahead. You look like. Is it Stan Laurel or Oliver Hardy there now? Uh, Both of them. Right. De Bruyne didn't, didn't start, it didn't come on against Copenhagen. Um, he started yesterday. Pep brought him off after, I think, 60 odd minutes. So you would think that he would start against Copenhagen coming up on, on Tuesday. You, you, what Pep might have in his head now, you know something? We'll, we'll, we won't play De Bruyne on Tuesday because we'll just play him you know, for the full 90 minutes against Liverpool. You, it, it, um, just let me go back to uh, one of, I think it was Anne-Marie who said, felt sorry for Gomez. Have you heard the quote from the, uh, the and, and elect director saying that when, when the, I've got, I've got it here. Yeah, I heard it. Uh, when he was in the, when the, you know, when City approached Anderlecht, you know, to sign Gomez, they didn't want to let Gomez go. There was an, another player, I forget his name now, who they had considered who would go ahead of Gomez. And Gomez was standing in the director's, the director's office, crying his eyes out, saying, "Please let me go to City." We, we've, it, you know, years gone by. We've had players saying, "Please don't send me to City." Now they want, <laughs> they want you know. So, you know, fair play. But you know, I think he's looking the real deal. I'm, I'm Marie, really, really. You know, he's perhaps dipping him in and out. Let's not forget, he's only a kid as well. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I, I think the the future's right there. No, and I think it's so. Really... Talking about Gomez, he's a replacement. He's obviously placed in the same position as Cancelo, but Cancelo at moments undroppable. No, no, yeah. no, no. I'd I'll say tell you. no. I, I'll I, tell you I, who he is. I don't think no. I'm, I'm not having it. I think Cancelo's had a poor season. I really do so far. But he creates so much stuff from that left back. It's like he, he was the one who got us his first goal yesterday. Oh. And he, he always pulls something out of the bag. It's like Kev, when he Kev's having a bad game, you can't just take him off because he's having a bad game because he'll always pull something out of the bag. Okay, I, I thought he'd left us then. 
I thought he was pulling <laughs> something out of the bag. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I, I love, I love less than that. No, no. I'll tell you. Yeah, Andy, I'll tell you who Gomez is in for. He's in for um, Zinchenko. Um, they were both attacking midfielders. Um, when Foden won the World Cup, Gomez scored the two goals for Spain. He's an attacking forward. He's an attacking player. You can see that when he gets into the final third. He knows where to put the ball and he gets in there. He's going to have to get trained up on the defending. I don't think they're that mad at that if somebody needs a little bit of training, they'll give it them, as they did with Zinchenko. And he'll become a more than competent left back. He'll also be able to double, book as, double, double up as a um, left-sided attacking midfielder. That when you need teams like Southampton that will block low, and you need that little bit more width, and you need somebody who can get through, he'll be your man to do it. And that'll bring you on to that bit now that I don't think any of our players get dropped anymore. What they'll do is they'll look at a team and think, right, which key do we need to open it? And then if it's Bernardo, it'll be Bernardo. If it's Kev, it'll be Kev. If it's um, whoever you want in there, in the middle, Gungadim, they'll do that as well. They'll do it. They're not bothered now. And they've got these little keys where they can just rotate it round a little bit and then they can come out with these supposed map team line up to where you're thinking what's going on and then before you know it the full backs are tucking in in front of the defence and they can't get at us or they'll drop back and then the wingers will drop in and tuck in and it's just rotating a little bit every time just click, click you know like those um, you know if you try to break in a safe the rotators we've all been there where you can hear it and it's just clicking around a little bit and I'm not like, saying nothing <laughs> and that's what he's doing and um, really he, he'll bear in mind that you're going to have to play 60 games. So there's no point in having Jack Grealish playing like 15 full games on the thing, getting burnt out. Because at some point, you're going to need Mahrez. You're going to need these other players to come in. And what you don't want is them coming in when they're um, cold. They all need yeah, to I'd be like playing. So though, be that, quite... that, that Pep even is calling Mahrez out on his fitness levels. So I'm just putting that out there. It might be, but then again, it might be doing a public kick up the backside. And they do that. It is, it, it is a Spanish trait. They will do that. They'll say something in the press about a player just to give him a kick up the backside. He, he says a lot of stuff, Pep, that I'm not always 100% sure he's telling the truth or, you know, he's, he's letting on and he's saying one thing and he's meaning something else. You know, he is a bit of a ma ma master of manipulation. OK, John, John, it, John, here's one for you then. Go through the starting lineup yesterday and say which one didn't deserve to start. Uh, which one didn't deserve to start? There's a case for everyone to start in there because they all deserve to start. That's, that's what I'm saying. So they, it's exactly what Stan's saying. The rotation and stuff like that has to happen. Yeah. The whole the whole squad deserves to start. But it's like he says, Pep picks a certain team to do a certain job. And when we was 3-0 up against Southampton, then he'll change it. And what he what he did change, he changed like there were five players, because he's using all his all his subs now, isn't he? And yeah. he, he changed it that much that Southampton then started to look good for the last 15 minutes. That's a point I've got that John, that's a point I've got written down there. Look, you can say I yeah, I agree. I agree that bringing the, the kids on and stuff like that, making changes is brilliant, but not all at the same time. Do it in 10-minute intervals because yeah. in the derby, we brought four on. Yeah, we, we was never going to lose that game, you know, when he brought four on, but it messed the momentum up a little bit. And I thought when he brought three on yesterday, he did exactly the same. Yeah. Fair play to uh, Lewis, though, the, the, the young lad playing in midfield. Yeah. He's normally a right-back, isn't he? Hey, it's yeah. like we've prepped this show. <laughs> and I tell you who deserves nearly a run the games, Palmer. Yeah. I, yes. he, you know, I reckon he might great. start against Copenhagen. Well, I was yep. going to say, because yep. Wednesday night and <laughs> when he came yep. on yesterday, I thought he did really well. Yeah, he did. He definitely benefited from these extra substitutions. Yeah. Definitely. yeah because when we're winning games early, you know, 
because let's face it, at the moment we are, it's not all, it's going to be not going to be like that all the way through the season, but it's enabling the substitutions that the kids, if you like, to get on like like you call Palmer's getting more, more get you know, more minutes, uh, Gomez more minutes, Wilson S. Brand, Lewis, etc. It's enabling them to you know get more minutes, but I just I know Pep, I know Pep watches this show. <laughs> So I just I just want a ten, ten minute intervals rather than all, all at once. Or am I being? I'm a, I'm a talking. Is that while is that while he's whining and dining Gundogan's missus? Is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, it'd have to be because she doesn't like Manchester's food, does she? No, Pep's no. offered to take her out. Has it? Yeah. Yeah, because he said she hasn't been to his place. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. You're not been here. I'll take her out. <laughs> I'll even go to Pep's place. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I think your missus would have so oh, much to say about that. No, for food. Talking about the uh, subs yesterday, Andy. You, um, I tried to put on the um, site yesterday about Rico Lewis's pass with the outside of his foot that perfectly waited to get us onto a counter attack. And it's little things like that, training with the Cancellos, because Cancelo, um, I was reading an interview with him. A few weeks ago, when he was saying that those outside of the box, the Travellers, he's been practicing them every day all his life. As soon as he figured out how to do it, and he did it, um, it was the Portuguese lad who was really good at him. He's a midfielder, and he was the best. And he went off him, and now you can see our lads are doing it. He go and learning off him, yeah, because it saves time, doesn't it? You don't have to get it onto your left foot and then curl it in. You can you can keep the you can keep the pace going by just whipping it on out. With your outside yeah. of your right foot, it's brilliant, and they're doing it and they're learning. I tell you what, I mean, if, if it, by the end of the season he would think, I would think that Pep would say that if everybody's played seventy five percent, eighty percent of the matches, and all the rotations have come in and everything's okay, I think um, it'd be over the moon. That's what he'd want to do. Everyone's had an equal chance. Everyone's had a goal. Everybody's dropped into the system. We all know what we're doing. And, the, whole, me and the whole Inter, squad will be happy. Correct. And nobody's going into games at the end of the season cold because they haven't played since before Christmas. And I think it won't surprise me if that Ortega lad got a shot. The keeper. Play him up front. He will, he, he will get a shot in cup games. <laughs> it's like against Chelsea coming up for the Caribou. He'll get a shot in that, won't he? Caribou. Caribou. Yeah, well, that's just yeah, the thing. Caribou. Was, yeah, I forgot that starts for us after Christmas, doesn't it? Normally, yeah. them younger lads and the keeper and all that will have had a couple of games by now. And well, he will. The 9th of November, we play Chelsea, don't we? Is that... Um, yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Is that uh, is it the one? I know, there's something in there. There was something in the way. We couldn't start them early like we normally do. To, to be fair, we could, pl we could play Ortega against uh, Copenhagen on Tuesday, couldn't we? You know. We could, yeah. That's what I just said. He could start. Sorry, sorry. When when you was drinking that, I just was thinking of that diet coke advert, Stan. You know what? You know, I think I'm a reader. I think I'm. A... <laughs> it's not the only thing that I drink. You know what I mean? I am quite. I do, I do have a varied diet. I do have my options. Yeah, it's good to have options. Drink options like pep. So, and and Marie. Harlan looked a little bit frustrated yesterday, didn't it? But you know, let, let but everybody who was there seen the importance of what he did by dragging players about. What was they was trying to strangle him? They was trying to do everything, and he just was you know just brushing them off. Is is an yeah. absolute, is an absolute monster. Oh, unbelievable! And it was uh, yeah, at times yesterday it was a little bit frustrating watching us because we were desperate to set him up to score. And some, it, sometimes it would have been better for whoever had the ball to maybe take the shot. Um, but he got his goal in the end. And the difference he makes because of his movement is what's freeing up, you know, the likes of Foden. If you, you know, Foden scored five goals in three games now, um, that kind of thing. So it's, it, you know, in the long run, it's going to benefit, it's going to benefit the whole team. It's but like I think... It's, yeah, like playing, it's, like, it's like playing the same match with a, a false nine and a number nine, isn't it? You know, we, we've, yeah. we've, we've, got, we've, got, we've got that combination. Dan, you comfy now? I am now. 
so, a bit of a palaver in the background there. John, John Harlan's doing that good. I reckon there should be a petition to get him deported. Oh, yeah, I've seen plenty of them going around, mate. And oh, my God. How, how fit can you be? You Just it? do your own work. He was born in this country. You can't deport him. <laughs> yeah. oh. I've, I've signed it. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing about it is, though, it's got 1.8 million signatures. And that now has to be... Div- um, like, they have to look at it in Parliament. In Parliament, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I I think they will have a mass debate in there as well over it. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> another thing on the Harland issue. I know there's no tumbleweed for you. No, there should be plenty for Andy. Got videos for everyone else. Oh, he's got it. Well, have you had an air transplant, Andy? That looks all right. All right but last at the I end of last care. week in the papers, there was the wallet. That the, the claiming that we're paying. Harland over 900 grand a week. I know. Now, that, you know, uh, it's It's got to be absolute rubbish, hasn't it? Yeah, it is rubbish. Clickbait. Yeah, there was no evidence there, wasn't there? He's on about 370, 380 a week. I know it's obscene, like, but. You know, Summer, I won't get out of the bed. Listen, before going, I wouldn't even get out of bed for that. Not even for if I worked at our sponsors or, or Aquagas, Prestige Car Repairs, and the, the brilliant Three Retro. So, which the other ones aren't brilliant then? Hey, eh? the other ones aren't brilliant. Oh, you see, I highly recommend Aquagas. Yeah, he sorts your plumbing out, doesn't he? Certainly <laughs> does. No, Aqua, Aquagas, it's, it's on par with three retro. I'll tell you what prestige car repairs is like next week when he, when he sorts me a motel. All right. Okay. But yeah, you know, thank you to our sponsors. And if, if everyone does enjoy the show and that just subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, it don't cost you a bean. Just, just click subscribe, click the little bell, not stand. See, and then... Back onto food again, aren't we? That's the end of that bell. <laughs> Ding don't cost you a bean. You said, Oh, we're on about chippy. We can't do it. Go down the chippy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't like to admit it, but the, the hay has just pulled off a world. Of, still, still do want to. Well, well. There are big gaps appearing in the away end. It certainly was, wasn't there, last week? Yeah. 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 So, we, are we comfortable going into the Copenhagen game? Yeah. And yeah, yeah I think so. I'm, I'm going tomorrow. Setting off. Um, about half seven in the morning, go and picking Riz up and our kid up. Yeah. Uh, then journey, we're, John. we're driving down to Stansted and we fly from Stansted straight to Copenhagen. I didn't think you'd be getting a boat from there, mate, if I'm honest. No, that's the next trip to that's Dortmund. That's on my land, that's Stansted. That's on my land. Is it? You, you must have there. a lot of land, mate. Stansted. Named after me. I thought it was Stan Zed. Oh, Stan Zed. <laughs> so yeah, that 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 should be Anne Marie. That that should be hopefully quite comfortable. You know, yeah. we, we've got another few. Don't, don't forget it's nearly kick off, Andy, because I know you forget about these things. Sometimes. Yes, it is. Why? What time is it? Five forty-five over yeah, here. Quarter to six, quick off. What time is it over there then, John? Uh, six forty-five. I think. No, it could be the same actually. I think they're on no, the same. Two hours. They have eight, two hours. Two hours. Yeah. John, John, John won't miss the kickoff then because he'll be there an hour early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, France and all that are an hour ahead. I'm sure Denmark and Germany the two hours ahead, aren't they? That's why it's that's why it's the early kickoff here because it's eight o'clock there, and they they want all games kicking off at eight. It's seven forty-five there, isn't it? Local time. Well, seven forty-five, eight. So anyway, it's it's an earlier kickoff. Thank you, Anne Marie, for pointing that out. You know. Yeah, because they'd have missed it, wouldn't you? No. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't have done. Uh, so that'd take us on to. Is it is it still a big game next next week? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. They're all big games. Yeah. Every single last one. We of them. want to beat them there. We want to beat them on yeah. that holy Anfield ground. I've never seen them win at Anfield yet. I mean, it's, next I mean, week. I, I mean, want to see him win. I mean, it's a I'm going. 
Well, hang on, are you talking about Liverpool or Copenhagen? Copenhagen's a big game. Liverpool's a big game. OK, it's a big game. I'm here to ask the questions, that's all. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, sometimes, you know... It can be flippant, yeah. Mm. Uh, it, I'd, I'd prefer all Liverpool's players to... Oh, Alexa's not happy. Did you hear her then? Yeah. Sounded a bit drunk, to be honest. Uh, I'd prefer all Liverpool's players to be fit and available next week and, and beat them... Um, no excuses. I think uh, Harlan will actually terrorise Van Dijk next weekend. Tear him a new one. Yeah. I think I'd terrorise him at the minute. He's playing with his uh, his bootlaces tied together. <laughs> Ever since his uh, knee injury, weren't it? Uh, I don't listen. I don't listen to that talk radio station, but. I caught a snippet of it. Um, I think it was, I think it was yesterday or the day before. And Jason Cundy was saying, not that Van Dyke's overrated, but what he said is that he's had three good seasons. He's not up there with longevity as your Rio Ferdinands, your John Terry's, you know, your Vidic's, your Vincent Companies. And I think he's bang on. You know, he's he's had three three good seasons. You know, for for Liverpool. But when the going gets tough, he's finding it a little bit tough at the minute. Good. He, you say he's had three good seasons, but these times of them seasons. Oh, no, Cundy said that, not me. Well, yeah, okay, but these times of them seasons where he's looked terrible, and he's been lucky at times as well. I remember Sterling putting him on his ass and scoring. On his and, ball. Yeah, and you know, for Sterling to do that to him, you know, the size of Sterling compared to him, you know, he's not he's not as good as they say. And I'm glad we never paid seventy five million for him. Uh, yeah, because well, I've always been I've always been the the opinion is is not as good as everybody makes out, you know. And it, I just thought it was refreshing that all, others can actually see that now. So next week, yeah, next week after Copenhagen, we've got obviously we've got uh, Liverpool because and then the Arsenal the Arsenal game's been postponed now, hasn't it? Yeah, um, which. It's a shame, really, because I'd like to have played them about now, just put them to the sword about now. Yeah, because we'll be top of the league now, won't we? Yeah. Uh, and then we're, we're on to Brighton and then Dortmund. Yeah. So Bright, Brighton will be at home. That, that, I, don't, I can't envisage anything difficult there. Can you? You don't know. They're a no, they're a good team, Brighton. They are a good yeah, team, like Brighton. Them. I'm here to ask the questions, that's all. <laughs> Played, I oh, thought that... we played well against Tottenham last night and we're unlucky. We're not Tottenham. No, I know we're not, but you look at the, point look the, at the game they've given. Well, obviously they beat United, didn't they? Or was it a draw? Whatever. They beat them 2 0. They drew with Liverpool and yeah. sort of won the game. Right, the, the problem with Brighton is, is they, are, they play two different games of football at each half. The first half, they're always brilliant. The second half, they seem to be quite leggy. So, if that if we we can be beating them in the first half, then we'll cruise it easily. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget, you know, that, that their, their managers are now at Chelsea, which I, I do think that's a mistake for him. So, here's, here's the head-to-head -head against Brighton, what we've had, if this loads up. Uh, I won't go back as far as 1924. Go on. I know John remembers. You probably could. Yeah, there then. <laughs> that was my first game. So last last se last se well sorry well this year last season we beat them three three nil at home. We beat them four one away. Oh, we we actually lost three two in 2021 yeah. at their place. But then we we yeah. they beat us one. Once in one, two, three, four, five, six, about 40, 14 matches. And yeah. We beat, and we beat them comfortable as well. Mm. And well got those, two always... up, those two lads up front are, are clicking together for the first time in a while. Gross and um, Trossard. He's, he's yeah, a really good. great Trossard, actually. Yeah. yeah. He's a good player, and uh, Gross is good on the free kick, so they're always going to be a danger. Fortunately, you know, we've got a couple of big lads in there now, aren't we, with Rodley and uh, Katanji? 
So a quick, quick, right, so we'll have a quick, quick look ahead again to uh, Copenhagen. Uh, I would start Cole Palmer. Whoever said that before, you get a gold star. Ta? Me. Me. <laughs> Two gold stars. I've got one. Okay. I'll let the lady have it. It's, no, it's, thanks, John. It's the budget of the show, sorry. <laughs> no. So, yeah, I put... No, I think I think we, we will start De Bruyne because because otherwise didn't play against like I said earlier didn't play against Copenhagen last time only had an hour against Southampton yesterday if he doesn't play against Copenhagen on Tuesday all of a sudden he goes into the Liverpool match with about an hour under his belt out of about four matches doesn't he? Yep. You all right there, Stan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sorting things out. Yeah. <laughs> We're not, we're not disturbing you, are we? No, 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 you're all right. I'm listening to you. That's the first. <laughs> I'm ignoring it, but I'm listening, so I know to ignore it. Yeah. Uh, I'd, 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 start, I'd start Sergio Gomez. You know, I think I think it's a game where, yeah. where he would thrive. I would, you know, I, I would make changes, you know, don't get me wrong, because I can't see him troubling us that much. Uh, I'd, I'd even give Edison a... Either at a start or give him a half, you know, to bring Ortega into it. I thought you were going to say I'd give him a rest, but he's had that new enough every game we've played so far. Yeah. He's hardly touched yeah. the ball, has he? I know he's oh. I know. I know, but it's still it's more about Ortega in it, what 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 he needs rather than what Edison needs. What I what yeah. I love when I'm watching Edison, because I watch him quite a lot during the games and I like to say, it's like, you know, when players bear down on, on goalkeepers trying to frighten them, so they'll panic and kick the ball away. He just doesn't, does he? He frightens, he just, me, he frightens no, me. He, he frightens us. Yeah, he frightens us. But, oh, he must have nerves of steel. He must be so confident in his, in his footwork. You know what I mean? Good. I'd start Rodri as well against Copenhagen, you know, because he had. Is it? A, I know he had the derby out, but I thought he looked. I thought he looked class as well yesterday. Yeah, he, I think he's got a slight problem with his calf, and he might rest him for this one. I think he will because I think he'll want him for the Liverpool game. I didn't know he was a farmer. <laughs> all right, mate. We've all got two calves. Don't milk it. Anyway, Grealish has got the biggest ones though. Who has? Grealish. Jackie two calves. <laughs> so we, we Pep, I think Pep will make a, a few. Do you think Pep will make a few changes? Marie? Yeah, I think so. I think Gundy want to start. He'll make less than we think, but he will make changes. But if Gundy wants to start, I think he'll make a meal of it for his missus. Oh yeah, definitely. She might like that one. Depends on the task. Yeah, I, I can't. It's going, being serious. Me being me being serious. I, I can see a few a few changes, but like I said, pretty much at the start of the, the show, everybody who he brings in deserves deserves to start. Really, you know, there's, there's nobody who you'd think needs to be dropped, including Miss Mrs. Mares. Do you agree, Anne Marie? <laughs> she looks like she's chewing a watch now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, Andy. And this goes to Aki and um, Katanji. Sorry, John, I just was giggling at that. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. No, you, you can tell how good uh, Aki and the Kanji have been, but we're now not really talking too much about how we're missing Stones or Diaz for Laporte. That would have been unthinkable six months ago. And it, it, it just shows you, it's a great point, that just shows you that. Pep does know best. When he brought another centre half in into Kanji, I thought what that is just going to upset yeah. the likes of it. Laporte. Listen, I like Laporte, but is he going to regain what what he had? I think I think Laporte drags Diaz down a little bit. If I'm on, if I'm totally honest, uh, who would you have us out to? If, you know what I mean. If you had to put a team out to win the last game of the season, you've got to win it. You need the two best centre backs there. What in form or in current form? No, no, you're the boss now. If, if, it, if it's, it's a choice you're going to have to make. If they're all fit. If he, asked, he asked me. 
if they're all fit, all in top form, Diaz and Stones. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. No, no, it's fair enough. But... On current form, our best two centre backs are Akanji and Aki. Mm. Yeah. My country mile. Yeah, because I don't think Diaz is playing as well as he should be. No, mate, it's not. And I, bl- I blame, because, and it sounds stupid, and I've, I've mentioned it a few times, and it, it's because he's playing on the right of the centre halves when his best position is the, on the left side of the centre halves. Second season syndrome. Or even third season, perhaps. Yeah, could be. Is he, is he three? No, because long? It, no, if you think about oh, it, yeah. it, it, it plays be... better with Stones, doesn't it? Mm. So, oh, that's season. Is on, on the left side of the centre backs. Just my little thought. I think so, he's there. So, I'll answer to your question, Stan. I'm going to think it's a tribute to, to, to Pep. I think it's a tribute to Pep that he can rest players and bring players out. Like everyone said, Jack Grealish didn't deserve to not start on Saturday. That's probably true in a fair and just world. But He's realised, well, he's got his form back. He can hang on a minute. We can get this fella back into form. And the only way I'm going to do that is to get Maris to have a few minutes. So then when he comes back on, whenever he comes back, um, Grealish, he's got two of them there now, chomping at the bit, trying to get, to get you know, vying for his attention. He's followed on one at, of the wings tied up. Look at our fitness of the lads. Holding. Look at our fitness of the lads compared to Liverpool. They never rotate Liverpool. And look what's oh. happening now. They're burnt out. And, and they burn out in January, February, bar last year. They did it every year. After Christmas. That's when they got the uh, massive shipment of uh, salbutamol, weren't it? Yeah, it was run out year end. <laughs> Start of the new uh, financial year, and away they went. Yeah. But they were, um, they always had that problem January, February. You just couldn't get them because they rely on them too often. And that's when they started buying players that they could bring in as uh, not so much reserve players, but players that aren't quite top flight but they got it wrong it's, it's going to be interesting in... this year because of the world cup yeah but definitely i was going to say to that see what happens. it's mm. going to be a weird season after boxing day yeah because you know players will come back there's a uh, players that will get injured hopefully not ours fatigue there's... no there's one thing that i love there's going to be a huge nordic meat shield sat there Oh, yeah. Watching it. Watching it. Resting, coming in, training, doing his little bits at the club. Not playing, just keeping himself ticking over. So when that comes back, January, boom, he's up, running and away, fully rested. And he'll be up against people that are tired out from playing. So there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, you know, there's still a lot of football to be played, and but I think... And I said that start the season, you know, before the season started, it's important. It's only six weeks till the World Cup starts. Yeah. We've six weeks games. today, the World Cup starts. And we've got eight games between now and the first week in the November. Yeah. It's a lot of games. It's a lot of games. And that's got- why people are, people are saying, oh, just carry on playing Ireland for every minute because he's having a six week rest. If we burn him out, he could end up getting an injury. What could keep him out for three or four months? We've got to be sensible with it as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Play, play him as much as is possible safely. Yeah, I think we also need to give Alvarez a run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw something come out in the papers, something about Alvarez saying that Pep's holding him back. But no. from what I've seen so far, when he comes on. I've not been that impressed with him. Did you read that interview? Because apparently it wasn't him who said it. It was somebody who said it about him. Was it? Yeah. But it's like I say, when he comes on, yeah, he runs around like a headless chicken. But for me, he needs to stand up, get like basically stay around the, the box at times. Because there's many a times when he could have scored. But he's not there. He's he's out chasing the ball. It's difficult. It's difficult, isn't it? Because he, if he was starting games, I'd judge him. I would judge him yeah. more. But yeah. Because, because he's not starting games. It's like it's like for, for instance, yesterday when Grealish come on, Grealish didn't look brilliant yesterday because he's come on when the pace is already set and stuff like that. The yeah. past 
past few games when Grealish has played well is when he started and he's got the full momentum, of, you know, at the speed of the game. I think that's the same for, for Alvarez. And, 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 well, and a lot of times, Grealish has been the one that has set the, the tempo of the game with yeah. his runs and everything. And I think it's hard to do that when you're coming on with like 15 minutes to go in a game. So be, before before we go, this just one thing about Alvarez. Well, to remember, you've got to remember he's played constant since January all the way through summer playing in Argentina. I don't think Pep's holding him back. I think what he's doing is, is giving him his rest at the moment, so that when he's ready to go, he's ready to go in the business end. February, March, April, May. You don't want players fit now. This is what Liverpool made that mistake. They were fit at the. Um, Charity Shield. They prepared themselves for that. That's no good. You need to be building and sorting yourself out now because you can't you can't play to your top level for nine months. You're going to go in and you're going to go out. And what a good coach will do is get everybody phased for that February, March, April, May when teams can go on 18-game unbeaten runs and win the championship by a point. That's totally, what they're doing. Totally agree, mate. Totally agree. So this time next week, we'd have played two matches, Copenhagen and Liverpool. Uh-huh. Let's have a prediction, Stan. Do we go through on Tuesday night? 8 0 for both. <laughs> what for never waver. An answer? I never waver. 8 0. <laughs> Copenhagen prediction 4 1 to us. Right, because I'm putting these down. I always do. 4-1. Liverpool good. prediction. 4-2 to us. If we'd have been away at Liverpool, I'd have said 7-0. We are away at Liverpool. I know. Yeah, so, yeah. Is, it Matt Martin, is it Martin Tyler, the, the old crusty... F- I'll be nice. He, he actually said uh, Liverpool are, are away at the Etihad next week. That's where they are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think that doesn't sound right. That so mm. we're putting you in the same in the same the same sphere as a uh, Martin Tyler, are we? I hope not. Well, just okay. watching it on telly. You won't get yeah. back on. The, you won't get back on this show, mate. You might be grateful of that. I didn't say he's any Just said he heard him. He was on the telly. Just mm. heard him. I, th- I thought he was wrong. It don't matter. I, th- I thought we were all. It's all right. Eight nil then, yeah. <laughs> See, so John's going for four one and four two. Stan, you're be sensible now. What are you going for? Copenhagen. Like Copenhagen. Three one Copenhagen. Nine nil Liverpool. The Copenhagen are gonna win. No, no, three one. Three one Copenhagen. Christ. I know man. that. I'm but I'm just saying City three, Copenhagen one. What about the dippers? Nine nil. <laughs> I'm putting it down. <laughs> he said be serious. <laughs> five nil Copenhagen. They're, they're going to win five five nil. City are going to win five nil. You're the same as him now. You see all the all these bad trades. Yeah, I'm just differentiating between the games we're talking about. And then three one against Liverpool. One three Copenhagen. Nine nil versus Liverpool. No, it's not nine. We're away. You know, some of it. And what's your predictions? It, I don't do predictions. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. I'll, I'll, I'll have my prediction now. Go on then. And then you've got one goal. 4 0 City against yeah. Copenhagen. Yeah. 3 0 City in the land of the Dippers. Okay. Hey, if, let's be honest there. When I said 8-0 last time and we were 4-0 up at half time against United, who were thinking? No, because I don't listen, I don't listen to you if I'm honest. So. For, the quid, for the quid, could have been all right, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what they say about the show, you know. Well, I don't understand what he says. That's a rough lot if ever I've seen one. Yeah, that's true, that. Can get a bit of a... Right, guys. This time next week, we'll know who's the closest to those to those predictions. Uh, let, let's hope any of us right, really, because it'll mean that it'll be another good week 
for City, won't it? Anyway, what's yeah. the report on the uh, Fantasy Football League? Who's at, who's top and everything? Do we know yet? Let have me just have a little look. Not you, John. I know it's not me. Do you win That's... anything at the beginning of October? No. <laughs> I'll tell you where... Uh, Dominic O'Donnell is top of the league at the minute with 625 points. Well, well done, Dom, if you're not listening. Uh, let's see. I'm in 16th place at the minute with 555 points. I am top of the league if if the other 20 was <laughs> there. I'm giving everybody else a go. Oh my Where God. am I, Emery? I don't actually see you. I'm just looking again. Who for John? Here he is. I, sh I should get paid royalties for uh, playing that video, <laughs> by the way. A lab Bible probably charge you. You get free sponsorship. You found me yet, Emery? No. Press FC. Surprise, surprise. Hang on. He's probably about, as long as he's below 20, 21st, I don't care. Where is it? Let's have a... Let's... I'm 13th. I'm looking for some. How did I not see that course? Pencil? I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like, like Stan said. And it's 21st. Oh. It's with me age, doesn't it? I mean, when in your dreams, mate. <laughs> so, like Stan said, it nothing's ever. You no, know, you sound like Liverpool fans now. So, is it what is it one in October? No, no, no. No. Uh, no. <laughs> I know you love me. It's a true story, though, isn't it? I think. We're yeah, there. she so, admits it. Anybody, <laughs> anybody else get anything before we uh, skedaddle? No, but I'll see no. you in two weeks, folks. Oh, you're away. Oh, yeah. Right, we won't tell anybody where you're going, Anne Marie. We'll uh, we'll 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 tell them on the show next week. Yeah. It's Algeria, <laughs> isn't it? Al Algeria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, no. Here's a clue. Anne Marie, I know you love me. Right, it's time to go. <laughs> I can't watch that anymore. Listen, folks. Have a, good, have a good week, and let's let's uh, make sure we get three points on Tuesday and uh, and Sunday. And don't forget, kids, it's an early kickoff on Tuesday. You yes. heard it first. Have a good week, folks. See you Take later. care.